Hey, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So last episode, um, we moved ourselves to Mary Fred here. Uh, we picked up an exchanger, which is cool, which, which we dropped in the Centurion. It's going to help us out, I think, with uh, with our uh, little bit of a heat issue that we had on that mech. So that's good. Um, today we're going to engage in a uh, one skull contract again. We're going to do a clean out the mercs contract here. We're down a little bit on our cash. We do need to generate some cash before the end of the month. We've got a little bit of time before that, though. Uh, we've got seven days. It's not much. If we come out of here unscathed, we can pull off another mission before the end of the month. But chances are that's not going to be the case on a one skull mission. You never know, right? So let's go back to the contracts. We're going to jump right into this, clean out the mercs, let's negotiate. And we're going to go with 2 of 10 salvage. We want to make sure we have enough cash. Actually, you know what? We do have some engines sitting in the... Um, yeah, we've got engines sitting in the um, storage for sale. So we can do this route, I think, and be okay. Let's go 3 of 13. We can always pick up some stuff to sell from here. Let's accept this. We're attacking mercenaries too. So, Pylon got injured last episode, so we're bringing in Raider. Um, he was he was uh, had the task of setting up a uh, um, exercise regiment for everybody and got injured in the process. So, Raider's getting her first chance to come in and show what she's got. Put her in the Phoenix Hawk. Let's see what we do. All right, here we go. Nice frozen environment, and knowing this map, we are going to be facing reinforcements. I know I said that the last time, but uh, I'm thinking that we're going to have reinforcements coming from the flank here. So we need to move in and get some cover. Uh, this is the best place to do that. Otherwise, there's like no, no cover here anywhere. I mean, we can always move back here if we had to, but it's really not going to work. So uh, let's reserve. And then we're going to move recoil in. Let's get some uh, sprinting going. How far can we get here? you got to move around, people. So who's up front here? Raider? You got good evasion, so let's move into here. See what kind of blips we get. So it's supposed to be a well-armed mercenary lance. So I'm kind of hoping for vehicles. Um, since we're not really... I mean, we got full salvage, but I'd still like to get more vehicles than anything. Um, there's a mech there. Those are, are those heavies or they just reserve? Let's find out here. Blackjack 2. So I don't know. That's not heavy. That could have been worse. It could have been worse. Ooh, LBAC2. And medium pulse lasers. Full armor. 45 tons. Okay. What do you need? Let's give him a cold metal welcome. I mean, there was a target here where we could hit him. I'm sure there was a direct line of sight here somewhere. Open oh, up here. Well. You are a missile boat, so why not? What's the chance to hit this guy? 77%. Well, let's move up here. Let's give him the good news. And good news it is. Welcome to the fight, buddy. PPC two mediums. Don't know what that is. Yeah. Yeah. You can't actually shoot anybody, can you? So let's get you up as close as we can get you. On my way. Double time. Maybe it's a good thing I didn't put dead fire ammo and the LRMs into the Centurion before this battle. We can engage at long ranges. That's probably a good idea. Okay, they got two more guys in the back. So we got a heavy, a medium, two lights. And let's push. Yeah, I want you to push this guy back a turn, please. Let's get in here. Should have enough cover from those guys back there, I think. And we're going to do an offensive push. We're going to target this guy's arm. Uh, no, we're not. We're going to target um, his head and just fire. If we get lucky, we get lucky. Looks like a CT hit. No big deal. 
Uh, we want to get him back a turn because yeah. I want everyone to shoot on him. Firing two more missiles from range. Here they come. Attacking from position. Nice! Two more hits and he's unsteady. We're gonna blast him now. What's this guy? Phoenix Hawk? No? Panther? Yeah. Looks like a panther. Could be a uh, wolfhound. Minimal damage a white. Damage. What's a white? Light PPC, two ER mediums, and a small triple plus. 35 tons. Oh, he's got lots of good stuff in there. Compact engine. Cool. Hmm. Let's see what we can do for that guy. Yes, first things first, we need to get rid of, of this guy here. Copy that, Commander. Let's unload on him with everything. Ten four. Man, we gotta get more hits than that. Cold metal needs to be in direct fire range. So medium. Could be a shadow hawk. Griffin. Wolverine. Something along that line probably. And we're gonna unload everything on this guy. Oh the Thunderbolt missed, really? Damn it. Didn't even knock him down. Well, we came close. That was a good run. He's hitting with too much, though. Don't think we need to knock him back a turn. What's his stability like now? Yeah, we can make him unstable with Hickory. Yep. 47% chance to hit. 13 on that guy. So we're going to fire on him. Firing. All we need to do is hit with one to make him unstable. There we go. Nice. Alright. So let's get another offensive push on that guy. We're going to let the white burn himself out. Uh, he's only got a few turns of fighting, so... And he's overheated. Let's move up here. I know it might not be the best of moves, but we get to see what this guy is. Commando 1C, AC2, and a medium laser. Okay, that's fine. So we're going to fire on this guy. However, we're going to do an offensive push. Why am I targeting that guy all of a sudden? Offensive push here. And we're going to shoot for the arm... CT? Leg? Leg. Mostly we just want to push him back a turn. Solid connection on that one. I want to get as much as we can off this guy. Has he got like XL engine or anything like that? Yeah, no. End of steel, heavy pharaoh. Okay, well he's got some stuff there. I'm receiving you. Uh, uh, let's move cold metal first. Can I see him? Let's move down here. And we're going to fire straight on this guy. Left arm destroyed. Stability failed. He's going down. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. We'll see here in a second if he's got protection. He does not. So we're going to move around and shoot for his head, I think. I mean, it's not a great chance to hit, but we might get lucky. Nice shot with the AC, buddy. That's good. That was good. Okay, let's get Raider over here. Move order received. And we'll fire on him. Uh, let's try and take the leg. I th oh, if we go for the torso, we can injure him. But the LBX will be gone. It's gonna lo we're going to lose it anyway, I think. Let's try and torso him. Let's fire. fire in. Do we get it? No. He's panicking, though. Rifleman, cool. I have to say the original Battletech mechs are always the coolest looking. I love the Rifleman. I love the look of the Warhammer, the Marauder, the Archer. They all look great. I never really liked, liked the look of the Atlas, but I thought the Battlemaster looked badass.
Okay, so I think he's now not visible to Behemoth. Or, I did that again. It's Hickory. Sorry, Hickory. Behemoth ran this mech for so long. Okay, let's move over here. And we can see him, so we're going to fire. Should hit with both, but let's find out here. One, two, nice. Not unstable, but that's okay. White is going to burn himself out here in a minute. He's still going to keep shooting. Pilot's got balls, I'll give him that. He's completely unstable now, hasn't shut down yet. He'll jump again next turn, become unstable, and then shut down probably. So we need to move, and we need to move fast. So let's get down in here. It's not going to help, is it? Here? That will help. No problem. Going to fire on this guy. Going to unload with everything. We don't have to push him back a turn now. There goes his right torso. Did this knock him down? He's panicking though. So we're going to sick... Um, Raider on him. And then the um, Centurion's going to start engaging the Rifleman. Okay, so let's get Raider on him. Uh, we could melee him. How are we doing for heat? We're pretty damn, like, no heat at all. Let's get up here. The more we move, the better. And let's just unload into the side of this guy. That should be it. Pilot incapacitated. I don't know if we destroyed the fusion core or not, though. That's the only problem. Okay, so let's force this rifleman to shoot for me. I could engage him with a melee attack, but this guy is like the the wild card I gotta worry about. Jumping behind me or something stupid like that. So let's get... Uh, I can't engage him from there. I can engage from here, though. What's our chance to hit? Actually, not that bad, so we're gonna do that. So he's got two AC-10s. And two medium lasers, so he's got to die fast. Okay, oh wow, man, I'm, the AC and the uh, Thunderbolt hit. Here comes the melee attack. Thirty points. Why even bother? Maybe he's just trying to remove the recoil and the. Uh, I don't even think he did. He fire the auto cannons last turn. I don't think he did. That was a big torso hit on him. What's his back armor like? 20. It's just like a bloody hunchback almost. 35 in the CT though, so that's not bad. XL Gyro, what else has he got in here? Heavy Pharaoh. Yeah. Lots of ammo in that one torso. Okay, so... What's our play here? Okay, he can't see him. Is there anywhere we can target that guy? We can target him from up here. We have to sprint. Can we walk it up here? We can. Let's do that. Roger. No point in bringing the Jenner close. We don't need it. Fire twice. Aye, aye. Nice! Two hits! Yeah, here he goes. Jumping, unstable burning himself out here. Damage, he critical. Oh, he's not shutting down, though. If it wasn't the cold environment, he'd be in a lot of trouble, I think. Um, Commander. Let's do this. And we're going to fire on this guy and make him unstable. Okay, as long as you're missing, that's good. That is excellent. I'm here. Oh, I can't get behind him. I can get behind him. Acknowledged. Okay, firing everything in this guy's backside. There's a knockdown. Yeah, jumping around just gets you in trouble. 
Okay, cold metal. I'm going to take one for the team and I'm going to back up right here. Get my stability back and most likely... Should we try and kill this guy? Damage is on the back. I'm thinking the Rifleman is probably the best bet. Let's fire everything straight on him. Okay, not bad. I think we hit with the auto cannon or the Thunderbolt, one of the two. Is he going to melee again? No. <gasps> okay, only one hit. Firefly's been taking some punishment, I gotta say. Yep. Let's fire on this guy. One. Ah, oh, okay. We got two last time at 40%, so I'll take the one at 66. Commando. Yeah. I expected to get hit that time. That's okay, though. Totally expected that. Okay, recoil, you need to move. And as fast as you can, please. Let's go over here. Okay. Turning. Firing everything on this guy. I'm gonna go for headshots. Fire at all nope. So he's still overheating. Chances of him hitting are pretty darn low. And he's going to jump again, because he hasn't learned his lesson. That's okay. And now he shuts down. I'm going to move down. I know it's, we're on instability here, but that's okay. I'm going to fire straight in this guy's back, looking for this torso, I think. Confirmed. Goodbye. Didn't learn his lesson, so he died. That's what happens when you don't learn your lesson. Alright, we're going to sprint. And we're going to move to... Let's get out of the way of that... Uh... Let's make that guy come to us. That's pretty good chances to hit. We're going to make the... Um, commando come to us. going to fire on this guy. Can we get the arm? Okay, good. We got the one arm. So one AC's down. Enemy Critical damage detected. I'm interested to see what the salvage is going to be off this mission. Good thing we didn't get any reinforcements, because this would have been tough if there was reinforcements. Wow. Decided to melee instead. And against the mech with the highest amount of evasion, too. What do you need? Just going to fire straight on this guy. See if we get that torso. If not, well, at least we'll make him unstable. There's the torso hit. <laughs> Commander, I'm moving to try and get a shot now. So I don't know if we should. Hmm, what should we do here? Let's get recoil down. Maybe we can finish up this uh, rifleman. Need to get to the side of him though. So maybe like right in here. We're still really unstable, but I think we can deal with that. Let's fire everything into his side. Left leg destroyed. Knocked down. That should be two pilot wounds. Ooh, and an engine destruction. Alright, let's get after this guy. Let's get in the woods over here. Gonna fire straight on him. Let's try to make quick work of this guy. Nice shots with those lasers, by the way. Alright, let's just walk it in here. Ah, we don't have any instability. We can spread it up. Actually, can I target him from here? This is like a forest. I can. Nice. Minimize damage if he shoots at me. Fire everything at him. Okay, medium laser and some missiles. Not bad. Come on, let's finish this up, guys. There's the Inspired. He's making a break for it. He's fleeing the interview. He didn't even fire. Okay, let's get out in the open. We don't need to be in the trees. Fire on this guy. Let's hit with one. Let's surprise him and hit with one. 
All right, nice. Recoil. Let's get as close as we can. Finish this guy up fast. You got it's unstable. Yes, Commander. Raider. It's getting close. Moving at full throttle. A little better chance to hit. He's a little bit Roll drunk the there. There goes the right torso. Critical hit, Commander. And we should be able to just finish him up now. I'm just gonna walk it up. And fire away. Comes the first one, second one, and it's game over. Just missed with one rocket, or one missile. Enemy there it is, folks. Mission successful. All right, 112,000, so that's not bad. Um, yeah, not bad. We should be able to make enough to be able to sell to get uh, our repairs back and stuff, so. I think I made enough um, experience on my uh, main guy to be able to uh, get, um, what's it called, um, Gunnery 6. So this is a possibility. be nice to be able to add this to, uh, although Heat 16 on it, so maybe not. I was thinking about adding this to the uh, Firefly. End of steel. No, another exchanger. Oh my god, yes. Thank you. Heavy Pharaoh. And jump jets. Let me see here. You can take the double heat sink. Or the fusion core 180 for cash. That's like 1.2, so it's like, what, 145,000 or something like that. End of steel. Uh, we don't really need it right now. Can we go for the cash? Let's go for the cash. Take the fusion core and we'll sell it. Small laser, as much as I like the the like the actual uh, um, bonus to hit and everything, it's not really, with that extra heat, it's not really viable. Well, I mean, that being said, we could always drop the exchanger in that mech too, right? Ah, uh, God, it's a toss-up. No, nah, I'm not. I'll just leave it off. Let's confirm. So one, two, three, four blackjack parts. Commando and a white part. Did not get the rifleman part, unfortunately. AC10. Uh, what else do we get? Heat sink. And that's pretty much it. All right, twenty-nine thousand. Not too bad. Not too bad. So we got one sixty-five. Let's go to the store real quick, and then we're going to end this episode. Uh, we're gonna sell. Let's go to wait. What do they got in the store? Anything that we can use? There's a rifleman Just mocking me now um, Heat sink kit. Oh my god. They got another one of these guys in here God I'd love to get one of these but 5.7 million. I just don't have It's gonna take so long to get that much money Oh, right, let's sell Let's sell some stuff so we're gonna get rid of the large laser minus, which we definitely don't need. The light rifles, do we want to keep those? I don't think so. Um, four tons, 30 damage, four heat. Ah, do I want to hang on to them? Let's hang on to them. We can sell it. We can sell. Um, let's just sell one AC10. Um, we got a couple of nice LRMs in here. Right. This is what I mean. If we if we turn that guy into a dead fire um, platform, it's just going to be 25 missiles times six damage. If the mechs out in the open, it's just going to be devastating. Actually, this guy's times five. This guy's got five damage. This one's four, so this would be like seven damage for missile. This will be six damage for missile. It's I, I think that's the way to go. We're gonna have to spend some time doing that though. I think. Uh, we want to keep the spike wrecking ball because we got. I mean, we got an extra thunderbolt too, right? Thermobolt, hang on to. We don't need the internal combustion engine, I don't think. So it's a nice little price, thirty-four thousand. Case we hang on to. We got two of these cores. We wanted to sell this guy because we're never going to use a small engine, I don't think. We'll sell one of these guys, just one. We want to keep the other one just in case. ECM will keep. Um, heavy Pharaoh, nice. We got that in there now. 
Um, jump jets we're not using, so we can sell that. Primitive cockpit we're not using. Jump jets. So we cleaned ourselves out a little bit here. We're going to keep all the ammo, just in case. Just see who's buying it later on. And I think that, I mean, five machine guns, I don't think we need that many, but at 1300 a pop, there's no real, real, real reason to keep them. Pirate medium laser, I know it does variable damage, plus one accuracy. 16 heat, though, for 27 damage. And ac you know what? 42,000. I'd rather take the cash, I think. I don't like weapons that are really unpredictable like that. Um, three large lasers. Let's just sell one. Okay, so we got 521,000. And there was nothing in the store that we wanted, but that's okay. So now we've got an more than enough for the end of the month. And we're close to getting... Well, Pylon comes back and we are, the Centurion comes back after the financial report. So let's go through that. 216,000, not bad. Alright, so we're going to end the episode here. Uh, when we come back next time, we're going to try and uh, see what else this uh, planet holds for us in the way of missions. Uh, probably pull another one off. And then we're going to slowly start making our way, I think, to the clans. Um, I don't think we're quite ready to start facing off against... Um, high-end clan units, but if we're taking half-skull missions with these guys, I think we might be okay. Um, when we get there, I know they they pack a wallop, so um, more so because the weapons are lighter, they can pack more in a Mac, they do, they do more damage, have greater range, so it's uh, kind of tricky. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, so that's it for this episode. If you liked it, please drop a like and feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, also commenting. If you feel like feeling dropping a comment down, that's great. I, I'll answer every comment. So yeah. So and until next time, I'll see everybody later.